from China. Have you ever been to China? Anybody been to China? Me either. But they have some great stories. Have you been to China? Oh, China. Oh, nice. I think you've been to a lot of places I haven't been to. Yeah. But one of the places I like to come to is Coronado. Anybody here been to Coronado? Yeah. Did you come across the bridge? Or did you already live here? Yeah. It's exciting. So this is a story about three girls. One day, they were on their way home from school, and uh, are you ready for the scary part at the very beginning? Okay. Uh, so they were on their way home from school, just walking along, walking along, when down the mountain came a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad ogre. Oh no. I know. And the ogre scooped up those girls and took them back to his hideout in the mountain. You think the girls were happy about that? No. no they were not. And they called up. Let us go, let us go, let us go, let us go. And the ogre said, just what we've already heard in one of the stories today. Oh, no way. I don't think he said those things, because this is a giant story. <laughs> no way. And they said, come on, Mr. Ogre, let us go. Have a heart. Don't be so mean. Let us go. And the ogre said, no way. They said, come on, Mr. Ogre, please. He said, oh, all right, I'm not completely heartless. I tell you what, I will let you go. If you can bring me, they said, yeah, 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 three impossible things. They said, okay, what are the three impossible things? They always said, well, <clears throat> first thing I want you to bring me is water. We, we could do that. Yeah, I want you to bring me water wrapped in paper. Okay. Huh. Oh, what are the other two things, Mr. Ogre? Well, second thing I want you to bring me is fire. You can't bring in fire. Well, they were thinking maybe they could, but you're kind of right because wait till I tell you what the ogre said next. He said, I want you to bring me, well, no, we have to say it in a mean voice, right? I want you to bring me fire wrapped in paper. That's going to burn. I know, I know. That's what they thought. They thought, ah, oh. well, what's the third thing, Mr. Ogre? Maybe we can do that. Well, the third thing I want you to bring me is wind. What? Wrapped <laughs> in paper. I can't do that. Well, that's what they thought. They said, I don't think we can do that, Mr. Ogre, because those things are impossible. And he said, yeah, why do you think I call them the three impossible things? <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna, I've got some important stuff to do. I'm going to go do my important stuff. And uh, yeah, well, do whatever you want. And so he left. And he said he was going to do important stuff. But here's what I think. Here's what I think about that ogre. I think he was going to go watch TV. I think so. So if an ogre were to watch TV, what kind of TV do you think an ogre would watch? What do you think? I think he would maybe watch um, the, the three, the, um, no, the, the three Billy Goats Scruff. Oh, what a good idea. The but, three Billy, because there was a troll under the bridge. Trolls kind of like an ogre, right? Yeah. That's yeah, probably why he would like that. Okay. And also, maybe the ogre, uh, the troll would win. Oh, maybe. What do you think? What do you think an ogre would watch on TV? I think the ogre would watch the three aliens. Whoa! <laughs> interesting idea. Any other ideas? What do, you, what do you think an ogre would watch on TV? Any ideas? Oh, we got one back here. Think? Uh, I think um, the three little pigs, but the wolf, the wolf would win. Oh, the three little pigs only the series, the version where the wolf wins. Yeah. Shrek. I think that's a really good guess. I think an ogre would be likely to watch Shrek, probably his favorite movie, right? Hero. Yeah, I can see that a lot of you were thinking about that. Yeah, yeah I think Inc. so. What do you think? Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. Well, I had a couple of other ideas. What about a cooking show? Yeah, maybe. What about wrestling? Yeah, I think an ogre might want to watch wrestling. That's what I think. Well, anyway, he was gone. He said he was going to do the important stuff. And the girls, of course, I mean, they've been captured by an ogre, so they started to cry. <laughs> but then they remembered what their mother used to say. Their mother was very smart. Do you have a mother? Is she smart? Yeah, yeah, okay, my mother too. And so their mother used to tell them, when you have a problem, 
Crying never helps. Here's what helps. Thinking. Yeah? You have a mother? Is she smart? Yeah. Did she give you good advice? I thought so. So they thought, okay, so we're going to stop crying. We're going to start thinking. They started thinking and they looked around and they noticed on a table some colored paper. And the first girl said, oh, I got an idea. And the second girl said, I've got an idea. And the third girl said, you know what the third girl said? I got an idea too. And so they said, okay, we'll call for the ogre. You can help me call. They called, hey, Mr. Ogre. Hey, Mr. Ogre. Hey, Mr. Ogre. Hey, Mr. Ogre. And the ogre came running and he said, I thought I told you not to bother me while I was watching Teletubbies. I mean, uh, no, no, while I was doing important stuff. He was watching Teletubbies. He <laughs> said, anyway, I know you don't have the three impossible things because they're impossible. They said, oh, Mr. Ogre, they're not that impossible. Check this out. And the first girl walked over to the table. She picked up a piece of paper. It was yellow, her favorite color, which is incidentally the color of the feedback forms. So you might want to look for those. <laughs> so she said, watch this, Mr. Ogre. And she took this piece of yellow paper and she folded it down like this. Sort of a triangle. And then she cut off the bottom like this. And then, now she's got, well, what shape is that? A triangle. It's a triangle, exactly right. But she's not done. I mean, what was the first impossible thing? Do you remember? I what it was. Water. Uh, it was water. water, wrapped in paper. So she took that triangle and she folded one part up like this. And then she folded the other point up like this. And then she folded this part down in front this part down in the back and then she opened it up and there was a pitcher of water on the table so she poured the water inside and she handed it to the ogre and the ogre said yeah why are you giving me that i'm not thirsty she said don't you get it mr ogre it's water wrapped in paper is she right yeah, yeah. oh ogre looked at that he was pretty mad and you know what ogres say when they get really mad he said, rats. <laughs> well, these are two more impossible things and I know you won't get those. They said, oh, Mr. Ogre, check it out. And so the second girl went over the paper and she picked up a piece of paper. Pink, pink, her favorite color. I love pink too. Do you like pink, pink too? I do. Yes. A lot of people do. So she folded the paper like this and then she made 10 cuts. Tens a lot. You can, you probably have to count. You can help me count in any language you want. Okay, here we go. One, dos, tres, cacta, sank, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. No, ten? Yeah, let's just do one more. Eleven. So, were you counting in English? If you were counting in English, raise your hand. A perfectly reasonable language to count in. Yes, yeah, yes. If you were counting in Spanish, raise your hand. Oh, very good. If you were counting in French, French, anybody? French. All right, good. Uh, German. Yes, German. You were counting in German? I'm so impressed. Uh, if you were counting in Mandarin, raise your hand. Anybody? Anybody? No? Any other languages we should be acknowledging here? Yes. In sign language? Oh, I'm so impressed. Okay, anyway, she'd made 10 cuts. And so then she twirled the paper around and she lit a little candle and put it inside and she handed it to the ogre. And the ogre said, yeah, so you can make a lantern, big deal. And she said, oh, Mr. Ogre, don't you get it? It's fire wrapped in paper. Is she right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ogre looked at that and he said, what ogres generally say when they're pretty mad, he said, rat. Well, at least there's one more impossible thing, and I know you won't get that. I said, oh, Mr. Ogre, check this out. This is the easiest one of all. And he picked up a piece of paper. She picked up a piece of paper. What color is it? Green. Green. Her favorite color. And she said, watch this, Mr. Ogre. You just fold it this way, and then you fold it this way, and then you fold it this way, and then you fold it this way. I've got to keep folding so, you know, you can talk among yourselves. 
and she folded it this way, this way. Can you figure out what's gonna happen? Do you know what it is? Can you guess? And she folded it this way, and maybe one more time, and then. Yeah, it's easier if you have a paper. Folding and paired, and then she creased it. And she said, ta-da! And the ogre said, yeah, what's that? She said, Mr. Ogre, it's wind wrapped in paper. He said, I don't see any wind. And she said, no, of course you don't see any wind. Nobody can see the wind, but I bet you can feel it. And she started to fan like this. Fan and fan and fan. Can you feel that? Whoa. Yeah, and finally the ogre said, ah, what? Ah. Oh, okay, stop, 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 stop. I, I did not feel it. <laughs> well, we'll have to remedy that. You are a man with opinions. Do you feel that? What? Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> I did not feel the wind. Uh oh, oh. She, didn't feel, she didn't feel it. You didn't feel the wind? I did. You did? Okay, okay. great. So the ogre looked at that. He said, it's wind wrapped in paper. And he said, brought up three impossible things and he may have been a terrible horrible no good very bad ogre but he'd given them his word and so he had to do what he said he'd do he said he'd let them go if he could bring if they brought him that so he let those girls go and they ran on home and their mother when they kind of came through the door their mother said oh your girls are kind of late for dinner and they told her all about the ogre and the three impossible things and their mother said i always knew you girls were smart so what do you think if you have some paper and maybe some scissors, do you think you could make any of these things? Do you think you could? You think you could? Yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, I think you could too. And so who knows? Maybe if you do that, somebody will call you a kid who could do impossible things. And that is a story. I can make a book with paper. Can you? Oh, you can.